What's up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 Season of the Worthy video, and today said, I'll be covering a new Monarchy Pulse Rifle that came back in the game, the Xeon 7 Rifle. Now, how to obtain this weapon, it's basically a random drop from the game world, unfortunately. You cannot pick it up from the new Monarchy vendor, unfortunately. Uh, Executor Hideo, I believe his name is. I haven't done any faction stuff in forever, because they need to fix the faction. That's a whole other video. <laughs> um, but it's basically a random drop. The weapon is considered adaptive frame, so it is one of the slower... Uh, pulse rifle archetypes. It is not the slowest. The slowest is the aggressive pulse, but these ones do shoot fairly slow. This falls into things like uh, Last Perdition and Bygones, which are very popular pulse rifles in that archetype. Going over PvE, like Bungie said with these new weapons that they're going to come out with, they're not going to be 100% god rolls. Like, you're not going to be able to get something like Outlaw Rampage in two different slots. But I do believe you can get something fairly effective here, considering they are doing different things with different types of perks. Plus, with being able to use different oh, seasonal mods on it, that does allow you to change up what type of weapons that you use, which is pretty fun. So, site-wise, for PvE, I'm actually going to pull up the, uh, the uh, perks that you can get on this thing. I guess for PvE, uh, I'd probably go with a low to medium zoom sight. I would not go with a scope. I find that being able to have a wider field of view seems to be better. It feels more stable, in my opinion. That's just me. So, if we look at the magazine, the things that stand out to me, I would say, number one, high caliber rounds, being able to have a little more range and flinch. Fantastic. A pendant mag, get more ammo in the magazine. Great. Armor piercing rounds. Pretty freaking solid in my opinion. You get more range and you can penetrate targets. Ricochet rounds. Obviously, you get more range and stability. You know, that's that's good as well. <laughs> Flared mag, well, you do get a faster reload, um, which is nice. Light mag, which is okay. I would say extended mag is good, but you have to have a perk that allows you to reload this thing a lot faster. Trey call number one, they're saying that the best ones would be Grave Robber and Disruption Break. Uh, Disruption Break's okay. Uh, I would probably say go with Grave Robber just because you get a melee kill and it automatically refills the entire magazine, which is very, very nice. You can get full auto as well, but I feel like Grave Robber is the most effective one in this slot. Go with Trade Call number two. We have a plethora of options here, in my opinion. You have Rampage, which we all know is very, very good. You also have Outlaw here. Now, if Outlaw was in the other slot, I would say go with that one. Uh... I would say you maybe don't choose Outlaw just because you might want a damage-dealing perk. Yes, you get a faster reload on Headshot Kill, but again, if you're going to be meleeing him anyway with Grave Robber and getting a full magazine, that's good. Now, I would say the best pair here, Grave Robber and Swashbuckler. Swashbuckler basically works like Rampage. You get kills, gives you more damage, stacks up to times 5. Cool thing with this, you get a melee kill, automatically goes up to times 5. So if you are using Grave Robber, guess what? Refills the magazine all the way, which is very, very nice. Next thing I would do... Dragonfly. Now, Dragonfly can be, I feel like it'd be kind of effective here with Disruption Break, especially if you're able to break enemy shields, if there's a lot of enemies that have shields. Plus, if you have the Dragonfly spec, you do way more damage at a wider range. And I'm kind of liking Dragonfly on certain uh, weapons that I'm able to use. Uh, I've been using the, oh, the Seven Seraph SMG in it. I have one that does come with Dragonfly and is very, very entertaining. So I would say Rampage, Swashbuckler, or Dragonfly for PvE. Now, going over PvP, unfortunately, Pulse Rifles have always been those weapons that have always stood the test of time. They haven't had to have a lot of changes to the archetypes, really, versus things like hand cannons or auto rifles and stuff like that. So, I'm going to whip out the perk set here again and give you, in my opinion, what you would want in a god roll. Sight-wise, again, I'd go with a medium to a short zoom sight just because it feels a little more stable. I would not go with a scope. Like, zooms in way too far, lowers your handling way too much. I wouldn't worry, wouldn't really worry about it. For PvE in the... Not PvE. PvP on the magazine side, you're definitely going to want either ricochet rounds or high caliber rounds. That is just my opinion there. Obviously, there's some other things that they... That people have picked out that are like, Oh, this is the best PvP perk that you can use. But in my opinion, uh, ricochet rounds is the top pick. If I were to have to go to the second pick, it'd be high cal. And then third pick would be light mag. Trade column number one. This is interesting. Because you do have the option of either full auto, zen moment, or firmly planted. Which all are pretty good in my opinion. I would say only choose firmly planted if you have a build that is based around crouching a lot. Uh, which can be used with, you know, the Spectral Blades class. You get a headshot, you go invisible, you can see the enemies through walls and everything for about 3 seconds. So maybe that can be effective. But I think full auto, zen moment, or firmly planted would be okay. Now, Tracon number 3. I would say your best bets here 
our rampage because you know this thing already comes with a fairly big mag size you get one kill you can follow it up and be able to do more damage outlaw is very good as well i had that on uh, one of the roles I was using in this footage outlaw it's always been one of those stable perks where it just feels good you get a headshot reload faster get right back into your next engagement and then you have rangefinder now this is interesting for this type of pulse rifle it feels like it, it should hit out of range because it is a lower firing archetype but it just doesn't so if you want to if you want to be able to use this thing at a far range to be able to hit those longer engagements I would recommend rangefinder as well and to be honest, it felt pretty good in PvP. I would say the only thing that kind of gripes me is a little bit is that obviously everyone's using auto rifles from Suros to Hardlight to the new Trials one, the Summoner. Everybody's always using those ones, and Pulse Rifles have kind of fallen behind on the damage bracket. Uh, you know, sometimes I'm like just blasting them with bullets, and for some reason I'm getting shredded way faster with Hardlight. And that's the unfortunate thing about it is that Pulse Rifles aren't the meta right now, so people aren't going to be using them as often. And it's kind of unfortunate. Um, but I would say you can be effective with these pulse rifles if you get into, I guess, you know, making sure that you're getting into the right engagements. You're like, you're obviously not going to pull up close to somebody with a pulse rifle that's the slowing firing archetype, right? I'm not really going to cover Gambit, but if you find yourself with a pretty good PvE role and you find that it's effective and you're able to use it well in PvE, on the PvE side of Gambit, I should say... Go ahead and use it. I mean, that's great. I wouldn't recommend it for the PvP side just because I think we all know you're going to get hit with a rocket or sniped or hit with a heavy machine gun. Something like that, I would not recommend it. Overall thoughts and ranking? Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good pulse rifle. I really liked it back in, you know, Destiny 1 when the when the year one version came out, I always thought it was a good pulse rifle. The adaptive frame archetype has always been a very solid archetype for pulse rifles. So obviously things like Last Perdition and Bygone. So I would just... If you have a good role for PvP, go and test it out. Alright guys, looks like we're at the end of the video. Just wanted to cover three things with you. Number one, about support. If you're looking for the number one best way to support me, there's a link below that'll take you to a four-minute video that I made a while ago. If you want to go watch that, that'd be awesome. If not, it's definitely not going to hurt my feelings. You can also subscribe to the channel, like this video, share this video, follow me on social media with the links below, and all that great jazz. Number two, regarding social media, I have a Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, Discord, and and a few others. If you would like to keep up to date on Destiny 2 related content, be sure to use those links below to find me on those platforms. And number three, going over the clan, if you're looking to join my clan, we have some spots open uh, on all platforms. We're looking for active players and community members in the Destiny community. And typically we like to play casual PVE and PVP a majority of the time. I'm definitely all about that solo grind, but I'm willing to definitely play with people in the community, like definitely willing to do that. If you're looking to join, there's a link to the clan page on the bungie.net site below and all you have to do is request to join and i'll approve it hope you guys enjoyed the video we'll catch you next time